Stephen Kinnock. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker. Could I just build on uh, a point made by my honourable friend, the member for North Durham, earlier about the risk of unscrupulous financial advisers uh, swooping in? And it's uh, appalling to even think that it might be possible. But we have a lot of experience on that based on the British Steel Pension Scheme, and I'd be happy to discuss any of those lessons learned with, with the Minister. But um, specifically on the point about my constituent David Farrugia, who tragically lost his father 40 years ago due to this appalling uh, scandal. Uh, could I just press the Minister to give a bit more detail on the specifics of for what's, what's going, how it's going to work for bereaved uh, families, bereaved children and parents of victims? How and when specifically will they be able to register uh, for compensation? Minister, I thank the uh, honourable gentleman for his question. I totally, we've had previously engaged on the British Steel matter and the unscrupulous exploitation of people moving from um, defined benefit to defined contribution schemes is something that's in the top of my mind, and I'm applying into consideration of these matters. He asks about his constituent, uh, uh, David, and bereaved children. The, the, the principle here is that you know, affected and infected individuals, you know, qualify in their own right. The passporting of of affected to qualify based on the infected and the estates of infected is clear. The details of how that process will, will uh, happen um, will become very clear very quickly. We will have uh, resources available through a website to register for updates in order that people can receive that as quickly as they wish. Um, but uh, forgive me, I can't say more than that today, but I think I've set out the principles of how this will operate. The operationalisation needs to, be, to happen quickly, and I will update more in due course.